Okay, everyone, I'm chilling here at the office and I thought I would do a quick rundown of what I'm working on at the moment at work. So I can't show the exact project and code I'm working on, I think at least. So I've kind of gone ahead and set up a sample project just to show some of the technical stuff I'm working with. So I'm an iOS developer creating an iPhone app and uh, now that it is summer, it is very vacant in the office. Like you can see now, there's nobody else here, which is a perfect time for me to do some renovation, I guess you can say in the code base. So the app is a couple of years old and has been up until this point written using only UIKit, which was basically the main framework for creating iPhone apps up until now. So for the past couple of years, the framework called Swift UI has become way more stable than it was at launch and developers are slowly but surely migrating to using Swift UI to create iPhone apps. So if we take a quick look at this sample project from Xcode, this is just the code that's provided to you when you create a new project. You can see that with UIKit, you have these app delegates, scene delegates, and there's already a bunch of boilerplate stuff that's kind of confusing. You also got this storyboard thing, which I really despise. <laughs> but anyways, compare that to Swift UI, and you have basically your content view, which is, whoops, hit some buttons. You have basically your content view, which contains your view. And from here, you can start coding stuff. So I've gone ahead and created a quick sample application, which if we run this, we can see that we create some text. <laughs> we create some text, we create a button and we load an image. And to get all of this working, we are almost approaching 90 lines of code. And what's especially annoying with Swift UI UIKit, sorry, is that positioning stuff like setting up uh, where the label button and images are positioned relative to each other is always such a hassle. And also managing state, which we don't even do in this sample, can also be very confusing and uh, yeah, it requires a lot of code. Now, let's compare that to how we would implement it in Swift UI. Okay, so this is uh, a Swift UI implementation of basically the same thing, and we can already see a lot of differences to the UI kit code. So Swift UI is what you call a reactive framework in the same way that React for web development re-renders the view each time the state changes you get a similar effect with Swift UI. So in addition to that, positioning and styling is very intuitive, especially for a web developer like me. If you add different elements or components, call them whatever, and you can add modifiers to these, like I can add, say that the font here should be a large title. And you can see in this very neat preview that it changes immediately. So that's also a big difference with Swift UI is that you have these basically hot reloading previews that change immediately compared to having to rebuild the project and run it on a simulator every time you want to see a change in UI kit. And in addition to that, there's a lot of very useful components like here I'm using async image with with a progress view in case I can't find it. So if I actually mess up this URL, you can see it's trying to load and I can revert it back and I can throw in spacers to quickly reposition stuff. And yeah, all in all, writing Swift UI code is so much more enjoyable <laughs> compared to writing uh, UI kit. So uh, yeah, I think so far this summer I've made a, a lot of good progress on our app and uh, yeah, I'll probably continue on doing this for this week and the next week maybe. Okay, so another thing that I'm super stoked about is that I'm currently working 80%, meaning that because I started at 8 this morning and it's now 2 o'clock, I'm off. So I'm now headed out for some skateboarding and uh, yeah, come along.
And yeah, we're gonna see this dude uh, on the bike bomb the hill. He really wanted me to film it, so let's hope it goes well. It's kind of gnarly. Okay, we made it home guys. I, I'm here with my pizza, I'm kind of splurging today. This is my roommate Nuti, he's a fucking maniac. But anyways, I'm about to eat this shit. Holy fuck!